Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another unboxing video. Today we're taking a look at the Oracle of the Mermaids, Magical Messages of Healing, Love, and Romance by Lucy Cavendish. So this is published by Blue Angel and I'm not quite sure how much it was, but I will link it down in the description box everywhere I know that you can purchase this. I'm not paid, I'm not sponsored, those aren't affiliate links. I just want you guys to be able to find what you're looking for. So. It says, open your heart, hear your song, heal your love life. Mermaids have long been the luscious <laughs> messengers between the world of the ocean and the world of humans. Loving, adventurous, kind, and daring, mermaids can teach you to teach you ways to heal your past, love yourself more deeply, live authentically, embrace your creativity, and find your life purpose. When you connect with your mermaids, you tap into the vast reservoir of the feminine divine, which in turn enhances your ability to draw love into your life, raise your self-esteem, create sensual bliss, and glow with health and attractive vitality. Overflowing with mermaid magic, legends, and lore, the 168-page guidebook features in-depth methods... In-depth messages and clear accurate card spreads to help you find answers for yourself your loved ones or your clients all right features 45 illustrations by renowned fantasy artist selena finich 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 sure all right i've got my mermaid jewelry on let's get into it so it is a box it's a pretty decent sized box actually all right Ooh. okay that's trash all right I'm excited. Okay. Put that over there. So we already figured out, you know, what it's about. Let's see. Ooh, we've got a lot of information here. All right. So cute. We have the healing powers of the merfolk, mermaid history, mermaids and sensuality. We've got the symbols of the mermaid. Ooh, kinds of mermaids, why, may, why we must connect with water, mermaids and moon cycles, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, why are mermaids sometimes mistrusted, how to connect with the mermaids, signs the mermaids are with you, and when to work with this deck. All right, card layouts, we have the triple mirror spread, the cycles of the moon spread, True love make my soul sing spread. And then the mermaid's Celtic cross spread. All right. Card messages. Perfect. Okay. So I'm excited. I don't know if I've mentioned this before or what, but I absolutely love mermaids. My favorite Disney movie is The Little Mermaid. Um... <laughs> Mermaids are just my cup of tea. Um, it's my favorite myth, my favorite uh, folk tale. Yeah, sure, we're going to go with that. So anyway, here's the back of the card. Are they all the same? Yeah. Beautiful. All right. So let's get into it. Beauty, grace, loveliness, integrity of form and spirit. So they're a little thin, but they're not too bad. They're flexible, but you know, it's going back to sort of their position. There we go. Yeah, not bad. Transparency. They're a little glossy. They're not high gloss. They're just a smidge gloss. Hopefully that makes sense. I like how it gives you the, the type, what the card is, and then a little bit about it. So that would be great for beginners. This is a bigger Oracle deck. So I'm excited about that because you do get more of the imagery there. They are bordered. They are numbered. So ooh, digging the artwork. Ooh. Interesting. Oh. Sweet. Oh, there's a man. Honor the masculine. 
They're not sticking together, which is nice. I'm digging these. I'm still waiting for some diversity though. Ooh. So it's absolutely gorgeous. Atlantis. Oh. Jellyfish are cool. Wow. No. Oh. Do any of you have this deck? If you do, let me know your opinions, your thoughts on it. I'd love to know because I'm really enjoying it so far. I think my only complaint is that I do not see enough diversity. But um, I mean, if that's my only complaint, I mean, it is a complaint, but. Other than that, everything is really awesome. I do enjoy this deck. This is really stunning. But yeah, I would just say that that would be my only complaint so far but we'll see how it um how it shuffles and we'll see how it reads it's absolutely beautiful the messaging is great too Let's see how it shuffles. Ooh. Not bad. No complaints. They're not sticking together. All right. Is there a card that's going to fall out for me? That one. All right, so let's see what this card is and how it reads in the guidebook. We have water flight. Heaviness lifts, burdens are cast away, and weightlessness. All right, let's go ahead and see. Number 14, oh, look at that, all right. So the mermaids sing, when one of we sea beans lies upon the shore, unable to return for hours to the sea, just above the tide line, led there by a sonar and other human follies, we die not so much from the dryness of the air, but from the weight of the world of the air. You see, in the world of water, we are light. We weigh less. The water holds us, suspends us. In the world of the air, we are left to fall to the ground, to remain heavier, and the weight of our own bodies, organs, blood, and bone slowly crushes us. Similar similarly, if you humans live too much in the world of the air, uh, similarly, if you humans live too much in the world of air without the weightlessness and suspension, the support and the buoyancy of water, you can be crushed way down until you can barely breathe in any more. You live so much in the world of air in terms of intellect too. The thought world dominates humans and you neglect the feeling world, which can sustain, uplift, and support you, allowing you in the realm of emotional imagination to do what your head says cannot be done, to take flight, to create 
story to feel the depth and possibility of your lives and to wonder the world of air often crushes the life out of the dreams of water do not let this happen to you okay so then it has reversed and then the message in divination here interesting it is time to allow yourself the freedom to feel and to express those feelings this will release and let go some of the weight you have been feeling that may have actually manifested and physicalized in more weight in, on your body a sense of discomfort when moving less flexibility and feeling of being clumsy at times this reinvolvement with your emotions can also be nurtured by allowing tears to fall connecting with your own inner sea and if you are a woman by connecting with the womb if you are a man, you may develop a new appreciation of the feminine nature and of your own emotional wisdom. Men and women alike who receive this card may wish to spend more time in healing natural bodies of water. The weight of your form that you experience on land will vanish, and likewise, you will release any worries, your deep sadness, and that sense of being overwhelmed that you so often experience, or that sense of being overwhelmed yeah, being overwhelmed, excuse me, I can read, that you so often experience. The freedom of water can be yours emotionally, physically, and your spirit will take under flight, underwater at flight. Goodness. Um, besides my awful reading, this is fantastic. I feel like there's a lot of information in this book, and I'm not surprised because this is Lucy Cavendish. Um, if you are not familiar with the magical spell cards that she has, um, I have a video that um, is in the playlist of the uh, tarot and oracle deck reviews. I suggest you check her out with that as well. Um, but she makes informative um, books and uh, guidebooks for her decks, and um, I've just really enjoyed her work. So um, she has plenty of other decks out there as well. And this uh, caught my eye because, again, me with the whole mermaid thing, love it. Um, in fact, I have another uh, mermaid tarot um, <laughs> coming up uh, to review. And then another um, Messages of the Mermaids, I believe it's called, by Karen Kay coming. So I'm excited to have all these mermaid decks. But anyway, I digress. I really think that this deck is stunning. I just wish there was a little bit more diversity, especially since, you know, there's a lot of um, mermaids here. I feel like it, maybe I'm not seeing it because of the art style, but, you know, um, tarot divination in general is for everyone. So it's nice to see that being represented in a deck. So um, otherwise, beautifully stunning deck. I feel like there's a lot of information in here. So if this is a deck that calls to you or you're feeling drawn to it, I highly suggest you pick it up. It's not that expensive. Um, I don't remember paying too much for it. It was either 23, 24, something like that, but you are paying for the quality of the information here. There's a lot there and the artwork is stunning. The deck itself is great. Um, the card stock is totally fine in my opinion. Um, no complaints other than that one, but yeah, let me know what you think down in the comment section below. If this is something that you already own, or if it's something that you have on your wish list, what are your thoughts and opinions? I'd love to hear them. Um, don't forget to like subscribe and hit that notification bell on your way out of this video either. Um, that way you'll never miss a video upload for me. Thank you so much for watching everybody. I so appreciate you all. Have a wonderful day and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.